Steve Jobs predicted AI could bring back the dead. Sort of. Imagine having a conversation with Aristotle today. What if you could ask him about life, technology, or the meaning of existence, and actually get an answer? It sounds impossible. But decades ago, Steve Jobs predicted that computers could make this a reality. Not through magic or time travel, but by capturing and preserving human thought in a way that could outlive us all. And today, with AI, we're closer than ever. But here's the real question. Can AI actually bring back the greatest minds in history? Let's explore what Jobs envisioned and how AI is making it real. Most people saw computers as tools. Jobs saw them as something deeper. In an old interview, he described how computers weren't just about numbers or calculations. He said, when I was going to school, I had a few great teachers and a lot of mediocre teachers. And the thing that probably kept me out of jail was books because I could go read what Aristotle wrote or what Plato wrote, and I didn't have to have an intermediary in the way. Books were powerful. They let people connect directly with the minds of history's greatest thinkers. But there was one problem. You can't ask Aristotle a question. That's where technology could change everything. Jobs imagined a future where we wouldn't just read history, we could interact with it. He believed computers could capture knowledge, ideas, and even a person's way of thinking so that future generations could engage with them in real time. And today, with AI, we're closer to that future than ever before. What Jobs described is happening right now. AI models like ChatGPT, Claude, and digital avatars can analyze massive amounts of text, process thought patterns, and simulate historical figures in real time. Imagine training an AI on every recorded work of Aristotle, every analysis of his ideas, and every debate ever written. Would it be exactly like talking to Aristotle? No, but it would be the closest thing humanity has ever had to resurrecting a long dead mind and engaging with it in real time. And it's already happening. AI is being used to reconstruct lost languages and ancient texts, analyze historical thought patterns, create AI versions of famous thinkers based on their writings. Jobs saw this potential decades ago. He once said, if we really can come up with machines that capture an underlying spirit, then maybe someday, after a person's gone, we can ask their machine, what would Aristotle have said about this? And today, AI is answering that question. But here's the deeper question. Can AI truly capture a person's mind? Or is it just an illusion and? Jobs believed that computers could preserve principles, thought processes, and problem-solving methods in a way that could live beyond the original thinker. But does that mean artificial intelligence can think like them? Not exactly. AI can mimic, analyze, and generate responses based on what a person wrote or said, but it doesn't have their lived experiences, their emotions, or intuition. At least, not yet. With advancements in neural networks, deep learning, and even brain-computer interfaces, some believe AI could one day go beyond words and actually simulate a person's unique way of thinking. If that happens, Jobs' vision of preserving human minds could evolve into something even more profound. Steve Jobs wasn't just a tech innovator. He was a philosopher in his own right. He saw computers not just as machines, but as tools that could extend human thought, preserve knowledge, and shape the future of humanity. And today, with AI, we're finally seeing the first steps toward that reality. The real question is, how far will we take it? Would you talk to an AI version of Aristotle? Or even a lost loved one? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you found this fascinating, subscribe for more deep dives into technology, philosophy, and the future of AI. Because the conversation is just getting started.